Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to utilize diagnostic assessments to determine your learning gaps and assess what you need to improve, how to recognize all numbers as being part of the number system, to determine which number set within the number system a number belongs, to recognize that numbers can belong to multiple number sets at the same time, to recognize closure of number sets within the number system under mathematical operations, to recognize the relative position of rational numbers on a number line, to compare rational numbers and order them from least to greatest, to find the exact location of a rational number on the real number line, to use the location of irrational numbers in order to find the location of one on the real number line, to convert decimal values, including repeating decimals, to fractions, to convert fraction values to decimals, to formulate logical mathematical arguments in order to prove mathematical principles, to prove the closure of rational numbers under mathematical operations. How are we learning it? Through the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment, the reasoning with rational numbers review notes, and the reasoning with rational numbers review assignment. When can we use this information? To improve your mathematics skills by analyzing your existing learning gaps, to perform simple calculations such as a budget by recognizing boundaries of numbers to determine if adding the items in your budget will stay within your income amount, to cut boards into smaller equal pieces in order to create or repair furniture, and to organize thoughts and ideas about any topic in order to provide a valid argument for your thoughts, beliefs, and ideas. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of 4 on the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment and a 4 on the Reasoning with Rational Numbers Review assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. After that, I'll give you time to complete the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment. As we get towards the end of the class, we'll go over how to complete the Reasoning with Rational Numbers review assignment. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your homework for tonight is to work on the Reasoning with Rational Numbers review assignment and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look now at how to complete the NWEA Assessment Part 2 assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, we can see the assignment. So we're going to go ahead and click on this link to go to the NWEA assignment. We click on that link, and it should take us to a page that looks like this, where we're going to enter the session name and the password. Now, in your assignment, I gave you a Google Slides presentation that tells you how to log in. So you're going to go ahead and enter the information here. So when it says enter the session, we're going to put in this as our session ID, D-E-E-R-3329. Okay, so we enter that in, and then we're going to enter the password in. And the password's listed on that as well. Right now, it's 2213. And then we're going to go ahead and click this button to go into the test. From here, you're going to select your name. So there's a drop-down menu. You're going to scroll down and find your name. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to select a test. You're going to select the test Growth Map Math 6+. So you'll find that one and then click next. This will take you into the test. You'll go ahead and complete the test. Once you're done with the test, you'll go back to your Google form and click next. You'll go back to your Google form and click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.